Hey, what is up guys? We are back with the 2D platformer. The last episode, we implemented some gravity. So our player now falls until it hits the floor and then the gravity is reset. Or not the gravity, but the field we've created called uh, vertical velocity. Okay, so in this episode, what we're going to do is we are going to implement a jump. A simple, really simple jump. And also, while we're at it, we are going to implement a double jump as well. It's fairly easy, just tag along and we are... Uh, we should get started right now, actually. Before, uh, never mind, before we get started, I would like to say that uh, I've changed my level a little bit, as you can see. I've simply created a new empty game object and then added some cubes inside of it. And yeah, I just moved them like that. The reason I wanted to do that is because I have, uh, I have some kind of way to test my jump and my double jump now. So just a little reordering of my level, no big deal. Also, make sure you save your scene. To do that, you are going to go in File, Save Scene, and then it's going to pop a, uh, a menu asking where do you want to save it. Just point it towards the Scene folder. Alright, now let's open up the code. So double click on Player. It's going to open in Model Develop. And we are going to take a look at our logic of last, uh, last episode. So, we want to create a jump mechanic. To do that, we need to have some kind of uh, input. We're not going to make our player jump randomly. We need some kind of feedback from the player. So whenever the player hits the spacebar or any other button, but we're going to use spacebar, um, then we want him to jump. So first step, we're going to take that very input in consideration. So um, over here, the void start, we're not going to be testing that in the void start because it's only called in uh, a single frame. We want to go down here in the update, so we, we want to check every single frame. Are you pressing on the spacebar? If yes, then jump. So let's do that over here. Let's uh, code it this way. If input dot get key down key code. Uh, let's use spacebar like we said. If we press on space, then for now. Since we're only testing, let's just do a debug.log and say spacebar, just like this. Good. Now we go back in game, play this out. As you can see, I am pressing spacebar. I'm going to remove the collapse, and you can see it move now. Okay, so we got this input right. Now, what exactly do we uh, want it to do? We need to make the player jump. In order to do that, if we take a look at the rest of our code, well, um, we apply some vertical velocity every single frame. Now, if the player is grounded, then what we do is uh, we reset that vertical velocity to zero. If he's not grounded, then we put some negative, uh, well, we reduce the vertical velocity in a negative way. Now, if we were to do a jump, we need to do the same thing as this line, but positive amount. So, what we're going to do here is whenever we press spacebar, we're going to do vertical velocity is equal to, say, 10. Something like that. Okay. So let's, let's, uh, let's read this, see if it's going to work in, in logic. If you press spacebar, then we put the vertical velocity to 10. Yep, this this works. Now, if you are grounded, we put it back to zero. This is going to cause a lot of errors, and we're not going to see why. So basically what happens is you are grounded right now. You press spacebar. Now your vertical, or your, uh, vertical velocity is 10. But since you're grounded, we set it back to zero right after that. So what we need to do is take this, and we need to change the position of this um, block of code. So I am going to put it inside the controller is grounded. Now the reason I do that is quite simple. You don't want to be able to jump if you are not on the floor. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's it. That's pretty much it. So that's the reason I put it over here. So if we read this, are you grounded? Yes, I am grounded. Okay, put your vertical velocity to zero. Now we press spacebar while we are grounded. So are you grounded? Yes. On the same frame we check, are you pressing spacebar? If yes, then vertical velocity is now equal to 10. 
and we skip this because this is a else statement. We go down here, input direction, vertical velocity, so 10, and then 0 for Z, and we move. Okay, let's, let's uh, test this out, actually. Let's hit play, spacebar, and it is as simple as that to create a jump. Now we said we're going to tackle the double jump, so let's let's do that right now. Actually, um, so uh, just just to show you what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it inside the else as well. So if you are not grounded, you can still jump. Let's hit play. Now, as you can see, our player can go up independently. But this is not what we want. We only want to be able to jump twice. Now with this code, it's going to jump indefinitely. In order to fix that, what we are going to do is we are going to declare ourselves a boolean up here. So bool, let's say um, second jump avail, as in second jump available. We're going to put it on false by default. And let's just uh, over here in the jump, we're going to turn it on. So second jump available is now true. And now uh, while we are not grounded, so while we're in the air, are you pressing the space bar? Yes. And are you second jump available? If yes, then we are going to do the same thing. Also make sure you turn it off. So second jump available is now equal to false. This should be fairly simple. Let's hit play. So spacebar once, oh, once, twice, and that's it. I can't spam it. It's only a one, two, and no third jump. Okay. Now our gravity is a little bit messed up, so we're gonna go up here. Uh, it says it's only one. So we're going to go uh, where it says vertical velocity is minus equal to gravity and we're going to say gravity times time dot delta time. Okay. Now back on the game. And now our gravity is too slow. Let's put it at something like 15. Hit play. And this makes more sense, but it's still not <laughs> it's not good enough, so we're gonna increase that in a moment. Uh say twenty-five. Hopefully this is good. For testing you might wanna put uh you might want to put your uh fields on public and just play with them in the inspector. But I feel like fifteen or I mean twenty five is going to be good enough for us. Or maybe a little bit more, just to make sure. Okay, thirty. Yeah, now we're good. Well, that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. So we did the jump and double jump in this one. In the next one, we're going to start with some collision detection, uh, more advanced stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.